The Duchess of Cornwall explored her Canadian ancestry today on the fourth day of the 2009 royal visit to Canada. At Dundurn Castle, near Hamilton, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall were given a special tour of the home built and lived in by Sir Alan Napier MacNab, Her Royal Highness's great-great-great-grandfather. During the visit, curators Ken Heeman and Tom Minns showed the royal couple family portraits and memorabilia, including a photograph recording an earlier royal visit to the castle by Edward VII. Outside, the Prince and the Duchess planted a commemorative oak tree before spending time meeting well-wishers in the crowd. Canadian warship HMCS Hyder, the heavens opened and the rain pelted down. Next, both their Royal Highnesses had a go at firing the ship's gun. <laughs> Shortly afterwards, ancestral links, this time not royal, were again apparent when the Prince and the Duchess met James de Wolfe, son of Vice Admiral Harry de Wolfe, who had heroically captained the ship during the Second World War. At Niagara College, crowds again had braved the elements for the chance to meet royalty. Once inside Canada's only winemaking college, the Prince tasted some of Canada's famous ice wine. Later, in Toronto's Varsity Stadium, the Prince presented the colours, or regimental flags, to two of his Canadian regiments. In an hour-long ceremony, the Prince and the Duchess inspected the guard before His Royal Highness addressed those present. To the families here this evening, and indeed to all the families, of the Canadian forces. I would like to express my deep gratitude for the unwavering support you have given to your sons and daughters, your brothers and sisters, your fathers and mothers, your husbands, wives and partners who serve in this great nation's armed forces. 